Okay, in this video, we're going to draw molecules. We're going to go just a little further from what we learned in the last video when we talked about Lewis dot structures. Now, I'm going to take a, a new one, and I'm going to teach it to you in two ways. We're going to draw molecules, and then I'm going to show you a quicker way, or maybe a different way than you learned in class on how to draw them. Let's take, for example, CCl4. Um, carbon, as we looked up on our chart, has four valence electrons. One, two, three three, four. And I'm modifying a little bit because one, two, and single, single, I can see there's four chlorines. So I'm going to go ahead and attach them. And so I just made it work for now. Uh, now, chlorine, on the other hand, each of those chlorines has seven valence electrons right there. And so I'm going to go ahead and put them in as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and an empty spot. Notice how that fills the empty spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and an empty spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and an empty spot. Fills that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the empty spot is filled there. And so they're plugging into one another just like we saw in the other video. And so, in this case, does that guy have fulfilled the octet rule being full? Two, four, six, eight. Remember that dot counts for both. And so that means that that chlorine's full, and that chlorine's full, and that chlorine's full. Is the carbon full? Now, again, you don't have to make all the circles and squares, but carbon has two, four, six, eight. Everybody's full by sharing. There are no charges at all. These are what are called being covalent. Now. What you see here in this picture is not drawn like this in books all the time. So that you can tell how they are attached, what you're going to see many times is you're going to see a line. This is what is called a single bond. And a single bond is an attachment. Now think of it, it's, there's a couple of ways to think of this. Uh, when you were in geometry class, uh, when you made a line segment, a line segment has two dots on the end. It has uh, endpoints. And so that could represent there's carbon's electron and there's chlorine's and they're tied together. It's almost like a rope between their wrists. They're literally attached to one another. They are plugged into one another like Legos. Okay. Or you can see that they're sort of tied together. So they will draw these like this. And you'll see them in a book like this or on a test. So I want to make sure you've seen it. So what's the difference between a line and a pair of dots? The only difference is you have dots like this. Chlorine owns this pair and this pair and this pair, but shares this pair. So that's the difference. And so lines are the electrons that are shared. The other dots, whether they be dots or Xs, chlorine owns these, 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 but these are shared. These are what are called single bonds. Now, sometimes you will see single bonds, sometimes double bonds and triple bonds, and we'll talk about those in a minute. Now, there's a faster way to do it than this, and so I'm going to take this same molecule and I'm going to draw it in a different way. I have this set of rules here, and they won't make sense until we use them. Okay, so I want you to pause the video and write the rules down, and then we're going to apply them, draw this in a little faster way using these rules. So go ahead and pause the video. We'll come back. All right, now these rules aren't going to make sense until we use them, so let's go ahead and do that. Rule number one, find the central atom. The central atom is the one who is the lowest number in the formula. So carbon is a one. It's not written, but it's a one. Chlorine's a four, so the central atom is the guy in the middle. And that's going to be one with the lowest number. So you have carbon, and you're going to have four chlorines. Three, four. So all I'm doing is I'm drawing a molecule. It looks like a wheel. One carbon, four chlorines. That's what I have. Rule number two, total valence electrons. So I've got to take all my valence electrons and add them together. Carbon has four valence electrons. So I'm going to do the math right here. A chlorine has seven valence electrons, but there's four of them. So seven times four is 28. So 28 plus 4 is 32. You're going to have to do the math here, but it will make your life so much easier. Now, your teacher might not have taught it this way, but maybe this other way with your teacher might make it easier, maybe different, and you get it either way. 32 is the magic number. So 32 in this molecule is how many electrons make everybody work out to be full. So that's rule 1, rule 2. Rule 3 says attach and subtract. Now, we're going to go ahead and attach them. We just saw that. Those are called single bonds. Now, each line is how many electrons? Two. So it took two, four, six, eight just to attach them to one another. 
So 32 minus 8 is 24 electrons. That's all I have left. But now they are all attached. Rule number four says fill the outside atoms. Okay? So I'm going to cover up the rest of the molecule. If you look carefully, that chlorine right now has how many electrons? Not on the periodic table, but right now. He has two. That means he needs six more to be full. That's 18. Now, that chlorine is full. Two, four, six, eight. Now, remember, dots, line, count the same amount, but they have a different function. Two, four, six, eight. It says fill all the outside atoms, so all of them. So this guy needs six more to be full, which is down to 12. This guy needs six to be full. And this, which is six left over. And one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm out. You should get a zero every time. Every time. Now you'll see this rule has a circle around it. Okay? You may want to write this in the margin somewhere. If leftovers. If you have leftovers, you're going to follow rule five. Now I'm going to take that out because it crowds it real bad. Do I have any leftovers? Nope. So I'm going to skip that rule. This is the most important rule of all. Check the octet rule. Everybody should have eight. Chlorine, two, four, six, eight, full, two, four, six, eight, full, two, four, six, eight, full, two, four, six, eight, full carbon, two, four, six, eight. You'll notice this picture matches the exact one from a while ago. Okay? So if you follow the rules, you have to do the math. It works out every time. Let's try another one real quick. Let's do NF3. Now I'm going to go through the rules a little faster this time. Central atom is nitrogen. There are three fluorines. Doesn't matter where I put those three fluorines, but there are three of them. I can't put a fourth one. There's just three. So I have three of them. So I'm going to do the math. Total valence electrons. If I look it up on the chart, nitrogen has five. Fluorine has seven. And there's three of them. Seven times three is 21. Grand total, 26. You're not going to get 32 every time. This one has 26 to make it work. Attach and subtract. Two, four, six are already gone. Down to 20. Fill the outside atoms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now you can do each of them separately, or you can do them all at one time like I did. Either way. Fill the outside atoms. I did. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Two leftovers. The rule said if leftovers, fill the central or inside atom. Well, he needs them anyway. I'm out. Have to get a zero. Check the octet rule. 2, 4, 6, 8. 2, 4, 6, 8. 2, 4, 6, 8. Nitrogen. Tricky. 2, 4, 6, 8. Everybody is full with the octet rule. That's what that picture looks like. All right. Let's try another one. Sometimes some weird things happen. Let's look at one like this. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Central atom is carbon. I'm going to put an oxygen on this side, an oxygen on this side. Doesn't matter where I put them. I just put them opposite each other. Carbon's the central atom. Total valence electrons. Carbon, four. Oxygen, six. And there's two of them, so that's 12. Grand total, 16. Very tricky. Watch this one very close. Attach and subtract, 2, 4. Minus 4 is 12. Fill the outside atoms, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm going to do them separate so you can see what's happening. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm out. 0. So I have got to get 0 every time. I did that. Very good. Now fill. Now I have fill the outside atoms. I did that. I'm out. If leftovers, I don't have it leftovers, check the octet rule. Here's why this is so important. 2, 4, 6, 8. Great. 2, 4, 6, 8. I'm done. Right? Well, look at carbon. He only has 4. Oh, he needs four more. Can I go ahead and add four more dots? No, I can't do that. The reason I can't do that is I don't have any more electrons. I'm doing it right, but I ran out of electrons. So what do you do if you did all the rules and somebody doesn't work? Well, it's pretty simple. Here's what happens. A line right here means sharing. Well, that means you're going to have to share more. So what happens is this oxygen will take a pair off and slide it right here. Here, I'll share with you more. Now, does that change the oxygen? Two, four, six, eight. No, he still has eight. Ooh, I just made what is called a double bond. A double bond. Oh, okay. I had to. 
That's why I do it. So does carbon now have eight? Two, four, six. Nope. So the other oxygen has to do the same thing. So I have two double bonds. Here it is. Listen very carefully. You only make double bonds when you have to. You only make double bonds when you have to. And I had to on both sides. I had to on both sides. Let's try another one of those real quick. Let's look at one like this. Um, into. If I take nitrogen and nitrogen, that's all there is. Total valence electrons, if I take a nitrogen, 5. 5 two, times 2 is 10. So I'm going to take 10. Attach and subtract, that's minus 2. That's a grand total, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I filled one of them. I only have two leftovers. Okay, I'll put them there. Ran out. Leftovers? I don't have any. Check the octet, 2, 4, 6, 8. Great. Nitrogen on this side, 2, 4. Doesn't have enough. Got to share more. All right, two, four, six, eight. Great, two, four, six. Still not enough. Had to share one more time. This is when you get a triple bond. You're not going to go ever go over a triple bond, but I had to make it to make it work. Okay, you always do single bonds first, then double bonds if you have to. I ran out of electrons and I still wasn't full. Share more. And when I shared more to make a double bond, it still wasn't enough. Then I share even more to make a triple bond. Triple bonds are the hardest to make, so they don't occur very often. But you only do it if you have to. In the next video, you're going to try a couple on your own.